midwife community. My name's Leslie Cornwell. I'm a certified nurse midwife that runs Midwifery Business Consultation. Today I want to talk to you about all the great tax deductions that midwives can have with their small business. Um, we didn't go to school to be business owners. You have to learn that on your own. I listened to so many audiobooks while I was driving back and forth from home visits, driving back and forth from traveling. Radio is a thing in the past to me. I love my audiobooks. So we have to find precious time to continue that education. It's so, so important. So tax deductions and just tax and legal in general make most people want to run away. You have to find an instructor that's educational and that makes it fun. Um, Mark Kohler with KKOS has been a phenomenal resource for me um, he, with his accounting firm, his legal firm. They're affordable. They love small business owners and so I've, I've been very blessed to get connected with Mark Kohler and he has so many online resources that are fun and entertaining. He's just such a goofy guy. If you want some good information, go to YouTube and type in Mark Kohler, small business ownership. You will get wealth of knowledge about trends and state regulations and things that are going on that you can do because he these are legal things to save money for your business. Paying less in taxes on a personal side, on a business side, is a lifelong importance you are most expensive on unnecessary costs is paying too much in taxes because we just don't know the rules. So take some time, look up small business ownership common tax deductions and that would be mileage. You drive into all those home visits, each state has designated what the mileage is for that, write it off. You could choose to have your business own your car and keep the maintenance and the, the gas and the oil or if it's used for part personal use on the side, just write off the mileage, keep an eye on your odometer, keep track of it all. Just like it's important to document the care you're providing, it's just as important to document your receipts, your expenses, so if you get an audit up to seven years with the government, you want to make sure you're prepared. Other great things, you're buying food for your staff, you're taking them out for dinner, you have a meeting with a doctor, that food, that time is all a business expense. Anything having to do with the business, you have a section of your house that you have an office that you use, whether it's your full-time office or it's a satellite office for your business, it's a tax write-off. Know the square footage of your house and give credit to that so then part of your house payment, part of your utilities, part of your upkeep of your primary residence is now a business expense. Um, supplies you buy, your printer, your paper, your pens, your phone. If you have another primary home phone or another one you can designate to the government as your primary personal use, your cell phone can be written off 100%. I like to stress I'm not a lawyer, I'm not an accountant. Please seek legal advice for all these things, but these are things I have learned over the years that have saved me thousands and thousands of dollars that I would have paid in the past. So I want midwives to know about all these simple things. It's just a shift in culture. Keep, there's great apps out there. Keep your receipts. You put gas in your car. You, you buy something. If it's business expense, credit it to your business. Any of that money you're making from your business, it will go through those expenses first. So then you don't have to pay as much in taxes. It's an amazing, the cash flow recovery um, program really focuses on the most wealth people make is by having a business they love, a little side small business. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. So many everyday household expenses are now going through the business as a tax deductible. So these are great ways for anyone that wants to start a business, not just a midwife, to save money on taxes. Other things that you can do within your business um, you can look at any staff you train. If you decide to go to a conference for continuing education, you were going to go to it anyways because you loved it. Guess what? It's a business write-off. When you travel, the flight, the hotel, the air, the food, the conference, like you are now doing things you would have done anyways that you don't have to pay taxes on. 
I mean, depending on the bracket you're in for taxes, that saving of 20, 25% of the money the government would have taken at the end of the year. So I want everyone to just think, think about these little things, your day-to-day -day operations that you're doing. If you work for a doctor in the hospital, there's so many things just by you starting your own small business on the side. You could be a consultation service. You could just do a one day a week women's health clinic. By you just starting a small side business, will save you a bunch of money in taxes just because of all the deductions involved. W-2 employees, people working for somebody else, pay the most in taxes. Business owners pay the least amount, except for real estate investing, but that's another story for another day. So my name is Leslie Cornwell. I am a certified nurse midwife with midwifery um, business consultation. Please visit our website, continue watching our videos if you'd like to learn more. Have a great day.